What's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video we're going to take a closer look at what appears to be a very thick debris field complements of Halley's Comet that goes through every 75 years and we're entering the debris field left behind by Halley's Comet. The Orionid meteor shower peaks tomorrow but apparently we're going through a very thick part of the debris field this year. We're going to come back and take a closer look at that here in a minute. What you're looking at here is a photo sent in by Teresa A. from New Mexico. This is one of many. I wanted to share this with you. This is coming up in a future video. Something that she's been seeing in the southern sky visible from New Mexico. I found this quite fascinating. This almost looks like it reminds me of an old Apollo lander that would splash down in the ocean after a trip to the moon. That's what that looks like, at least on its side. This up here looks like it has lines on it. Quite fascinating. I'm not sure what we've got going on here, but we'll be taking a closer look at that in a video in the coming days. Back to the debris field left behind by Halley's Comet. We're looking at the near-Earth object list that has grown exponentially in the last 48 hours. Right now, today, on October the 20th, we have 11 near-Earth objects scheduled to go past the Earth. I don't think I've ever seen that many in one day, ever. In all the years that I've been watching this, and I've been watching this list grow for a long, long time over here at spaceweather.com, I can remember when the list was a mere 300. Now it's over 2,037 cataloged potentially hazardous asteroids. The list has grown multiple times over since I started watching this years ago. But you can see the 19th, we saw one, two, three, four, five, six. One at 0 0.4 LD and one at 0 0.5 LD. That's lunar distance between the Earth and the Moon system. We've got one tomorrow at 0 0.1. And these are just the ones that, that we know about, that they've found. There's going to be others. I've got a couple of videos that I want to share with you in this video of fireballs that have been spotted in the sky just in the last couple of days. And I think they're strays that are getting pulled in from the debris field of Halley's Comet. And it looks like we are entering that debris field right now as I do this video. 11 near-Earth objects, October 20th of 2020. Closest being a 1.9 LD. And as you can see, the list is quite long. The 21st, one, two, three, four. There's five for tomorrow, two within the Earth-Moon system. And I'm pretty confident this list will continue to grow, like I said earlier, courtesy of the debris field left behind by Halley's Comet. I'm going to come back and share the videos that were shared with me by Rosa and Steven here in just a moment. But first here, looking at the Schumann resonance, you can see there's a, a little bit of actually unusual activity in the Schumann. I don't know that I've ever seen that shade of purple on the Schumann before. You can see at the last 24 hours, there's a little bit over here, a little bit over here, and there's actually some over here. Not much, but it seems like it's getting a little bit stronger. Not exactly sure how to interpret that. There was a spike within the last 24 hours. Um, all in all, I mean, it's pretty quiet, but there is some activity in the Schumann Resonance. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera, the big red signature you see on there is the large 7.5 magnitude earthquake that occurred in Alaska. But other than that, business as usual, a steady flow of energy around the supervolcano Caldera. Speaking of energy, here's the global seismos. And, and we knew this would more than likely occur following the, the large Alaska quake, and it did. There's the, the black. We normally see these turn jet black globally when there's an earthquake, especially that's fairly shallow. These seismographs feel the energy all around the world, especially anything around 7.5 and above, easily turn black. And, and they did, and that's what we're looking at here. That's all from the large earthquake yesterday. But back to the debris field that we are definitely in. I mean, between yesterday and today, look at the 19th. We've got one, two, three, four, five yesterday. We've got one, two, three, four, five tomorrow, 11 today. So in three days, we're going to have 21 near-Earth objects. That's 72 hours 
21 known near-Earth objects. And that's not counting the ones that we're not expecting, like maybe this one here that was noticed by Stephen from the South Atlanta metro area. See it right there on his dash cam? This was around 7 o'clock at night. There it is zoomed in. Here it is in slow motion. It was a very fast-moving, bright fireball, more than likely and Orion it. it it could have been no way of knowing it looks like it was traveling from north to south as as Stephen was driving to the south here's one sent in by Rosa from Puerto Rico this is in broad daylight it's occurred within the last week in October of 2020 look at that and that's not an airplane because that is moving way too fast it's very very high up in the atmosphere glowing bright orange unbelievable video okay. here by Rosa out of Puerto Rico and again this has occurred within the last few days I don't know the exact date I want to say within the last week so it, it's just further confirmation of the debris field that we are definitely in and you know will we see more probably will earth be able to handle it absolutely here it is up close, and you can see this thing has some personality to it. Very fiery orange object moving through the sky at a fairly high rate of speed. But that one was very high up in the atmosphere, probably went right on through the atmosphere and back out into space. Also in this video, I've got a brand new picture slideshow I want to share with you guys and a video that you can find linked below down in the description box. This was sent in by Calvin looking for Hobbs, and it's dated October 19th of 2020 from Bend, Oregon. And I really don't even know how to describe this. It's a neat video you guys can check out down below if you like. It almost looks like a, a long orange piece of licorice in the sky, some sort of a line underneath it, or tubular gravity waves that just happen to be bright orange. Great observation again by Calvin up in Bend, Oregon. Don't forget to, to check out that video down below in the description box. Here's some new photos that have been sent in from all around the world. Julia out of Switzerland. Kodak moment right there. Spectacular. Dominic and Cindy out of Pennsylvania. Look at this here. Not even sure how to interpret what we've got going on here. Some sort of a, a light beam that reminds me of Crown Flash, but this is a photo, not a video. Um, don't know. Very bright, independent cloud sticking up into the sky. Great photograph. New South Wales, Australia. Scott, this is a video clip of some sort of a glowing orange object in the sky. I have no idea what this is and don't claim to know. It's just another one of those videos that was shared with me and I'm simply sharing it with you. There's a close-up version of that same video sent in by Scott down in New Zealand. Ben H. took this incredible photo sent in by Rachel L. I mean, guys, it just doesn't hardly get much better than that. And I have done nothing to this picture or these pictures. This is exactly the way I received them from New Zealand. Absolutely spectacular. Phil out of Paseo Robles, California. More spectacular photos of sky phenomena. Here's a great photo of the moon sent in by Phil. Look at those craters. Wolf H, red sky. This is actually in the middle of the day. He shared this video with me a few days ago, and I'm not exactly sure of the location, but this is obviously a side effect from the very thick wildfire smoke that we've been seeing out here in the western United States, especially in Colorado, where they've had record wildfires this year. California's seen record wildfires this year. Oregon also set records. This was in one of those three locations. I'm waiting to hear back from Wolf, and when I find, find out the exact location, I will share that with you guys. But this was during the days a truck driver actually pulled over to take this video. Absolutely mesmerizing catch of, of the sky just turning dark red, and that too was unedited. This photo here, I took myself of the moon back on the 18th, a crescent moon, 4% waxing 
crescent and I noticed that it too was being influenced by the wildfire smoke. There wasn't a whole lot of smoke in the atmosphere, but the moon actually looked like a banana up in the sky. <laughs> So I took a couple of photos of the moon, and there's what we saw from out here in Arizona. Leslie D. out of Belgium. Spectacular photos that are too unedited. Beautiful pink and purple skies from Belgium. East Oregon, Al, got the same thing going on over there. And this too, unedited. Tim F. out of Pennsylvania, unedited. Gravity waves and all in the bright pink and purple sky. Emma out of Putnam County, Florida. Notice these two looked out of place. Vertical clouds in the sky up there all by themselves. So she took a photo, shared them with me. I'm sharing them with you. The villages, Florida, Ron and Lee got some roll clouds up in the sky. Either that or very large gravity waves. Scott S. out of Foyle, Oklahoma. Super unique photo here out of Oklahoma. Looks like a, a large ship hanging up in the sky over there. Shannon G. out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. Big, bright, pink and purple sky at sunset. Rebecca A. out of Palm Bay, Florida. Unique photo here of beams ricocheting off of the cloud tops, casting shadows up in the sky. Roseanne W. out of Manahawkin, New Jersey. A twister very, very close to her location. Absolutely incredible photos. Keep them coming, guys. If you have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery at the website, and sometimes I'll use them in a picture slideshow just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.